New Shifter Boys HGP Shifter by Moza Racing. We have the Moza Racing steering wheel as well. And they sent me a shifter. We're gonna test it. We're also gonna compare this shifter to the Thrustmaster TH8A shifter and some kind of a Chinese a cheap eBay shifter as well over here, which even has two buttons, which is pretty cool. But let's see what is inside of uh, the HGP shifter, okay? So let's do the uh, unboxing. Some kind of a... Uh some kind of a manual if you guys don't know how shifters work you can read about shifters here is the shift knob look at that here it is look at this ball man i love balls it's really heavy it's a heavy ball feels like it's like like uh, it's just made out of metal like straight out of metal oh, i like it obviously you do need cables how can you manage without cables this is not wireless okay there is i don't know what this is there's like uh something you get a glue there's some tools over here as well and some bolts okay we probably might need those and here is the shifter reveal itself ah, here we go all right boys that is the shifter this is what it looks like straight out of the box Ooh, okay i like it that it's like like matte uh, i like it all right so i got really lucky previously they did send me a handbrake and the handbrake came with a table mount so that table mount is universal you can use that with the shifter as well so i'm so glad <laughs> that i actually have the table mount otherwise i couldn't use it all right let me plug it in shifter has been mounted over here we have three different shifters what is really fun to look at over here trust master shifter the position is outwards i really like that it's it's good it's, it's gonna be closer to the steering wheel this is the ebay shifter and the position is really inward so that's not a really good placement because your hands are gonna be right over here and then you're gonna grab all the way reach over here for, for shifting now the new one which we got today the moza racing uh, shifter this is in between these two this is really inwards this is outwards and this is like in the middle kind of like it's uh, it's 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 not bad but yeah just very good visual rep representation of uh, how they're gonna be on your table i guess now another thing boys we're gonna talk about the noise uh start with the moza one okay the uh, the moza one uh, let's listen Kind of, kind of noisy. The reason is very simple. It's heavy. Uh, let's uh, listen to this. I'm gonna hold it down. And this is the Trustmaster one. It, it, it's significantly quiet the Trustmaster one. Like. <laughs> Now, uh, Thrustmaster 1 is really soft, like, uh, you can, you can see, very easy to, like, move the, the shifter, right? Uh, not with this one. <laughs> Boing! Uh, let's see, let's see, do a test. Yeah, this is definitely better than, better than that one. But they're, they're so heavy, it's insane how heavy, how heavy they are. Jesus! Oh, this is pro. This is so soft. Like I could use my pinky. Could literally, literally use my pinky to like shift gears. L look at that. Could I do a pinky shift over here? Oh God, I can't. What? Uh, I got it. It's really, really, really scary. The. Can I? Ah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's uh, very heavy. Uh, feeling shift is over here. Uh, also, you guys want to know probably how much all of these cost. So I'm gonna tell the prices. Thrustmaster 1, 200 USD. But you don't need a table mount. The eBay one, uh, with 6 gears, with 2 buttons, and the bracket as well, costs 100 USD. So you could get 2 of these eBay ones for the price of a Thrustmaster 1. Uh, this table mount alone is 20 bucks, which is insane. <laughs> insane price. For the, for the quality. For the quality, this is pretty insane, but uh, it is what it is. But uh, li listen, and now what a ship they got buttons, okay? Well, pretty cool. Uh, the Moza Racing one. 160 USD. So I guess something in between of this one and that one, which is uh, not a bad deal, actually. The table mount is additional 30 bucks. So a total of 190 USD, actually, with the table mount. Now, you don't need a table mount if you have, like, a proper uh, sim rig, okay? But we are using a table over here. But anyway, let's go into the game, test out the shifter, and then we're gonna see which one is the best. And now, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment of truth. 
truth. We joined our Shotoku server, by the way, these are our own Shotoku servers, 24-7 free servers. If you want to join these, join our Discord. So, first impression, it is so far away. I'm like kind of used to the fact that Trustmaster Shift it was so close. Like, I could reach and shift like this. But now I gotta like reach all the way over here if I wanna up shift. Or if I wanna downshift, it's kinda of far away. Now the eBay one is even worse. The eBay one and the Moza one are very similar to each other. Uh, except Moza's quality is significantly better. Like uh, the, from the clap to the its overall build quality and even the looks, it just looks better. Uh, it's even less uh, noisy. Not much, but it's a little bit less noisy than the eBay one. Now there is one downside. The eBay one you can get with two extra buttons as well i really wish shifter manufacturers would actually start adding buttons what happened to the good old days uh, when logitech g25 and g27 shifters had buttons even logitech stopped putting buttons on the shifter what happened why are we going backwards now the same issues with trustmaster trustmaster doesn't like buttons as well uh, on their shifters nobody likes them now you might say oh good but there are the, uh, separate usb button units and uh, you can have many buttons it's separate yeah but why why not on the shifter like all we need is like couple buttons and then we don't need like extra additional gear maybe you don't even care about the buttons it's just uh, for me it's important so how am i gonna rate these uh, shifters now i've tried the trustmaster one up i play with my trust master regularly uh the ebay one i've tried as well and now i've tried the moza one on a table setup i'm gonna recommend trust master shifter trust master one is like more towards you so it's more easily reachable oh and also you don't need the disc clamp it's just it has like the thing built inside of it you don't need to separately buy a disc clamp and with these two other products uh, you do need the disc clamp as well and uh, you're gonna buy it separately if you don't have a table you have a separate rig then i would go with the moza one uh, you're not gonna have any issues with reaching the ebay one for 100 usd i would recommend that if you don't have a desk setup like me i have all my things on a desk now i don't know how long the ebay one is gonna work like the build quality is sometimes uh, kind of sketchy like if you don't want to risk 100 usd for the cheap ebay one you want like a quality product that's gonna last you years then you gotta go with the moza one uh but yeah this uh this is the uh shifter review hopefully you guys have a little uh, overview of uh, different types of shifters and what are the uh, good sides and downsides let me know which one would you choose and also boys if you want to see a very similar video on handbrakes i have three different handbrakes as well i have ebay handbrake moza handbrake and trustmaster handbrake i could do a very similar video with the handbrakes as well so if you want that, let me know in the comments. I will make it happen. But yeah, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And as always, stay sideways.